This is the Mighty Z of Capital Chaos TV. We're hanging out here with David from uh, Havoc. How's it going, David? It's going very well. Just rocked in Walnut Creek and uh, heading to Fresno. Sick. Sick. Of, this is your first time in Walnut Creek? Absolutely. Uh, when we saw the tour dates, we were like, what the fuck is Walnut Creek? But the Bay Area is always really good, and tonight was awesome. And this is just, just yet another suburb of it. Yes. There's a billion of them. Absolutely. Are you from a suburb of, of uh, Colorado? Yeah, I live in Lakewood. It's just west of Denver. I see, and it's it's just a little little suburb with a, with a mall, right? I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's all connected. Uh, I can be downtown in like ten minutes. So. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. So your new CD just uh, it hit the. Uh, it's like one fifty seven on Billboard. Is that right? Yeah, it uh, charted top two hundred on Billboard, which is pretty insane. Pretty insane from a thrash band from uh, from Colorado Absolutely. on on Candlelight of all of all labels, right? Yes, sir. And uh, this is our last record with Candlelight, so we're free agents as of now, and uh, we'll be shopping around. Oh wow! So most likely we'll become a, a yet another nuclear blast band, I would imagine. Oh, right? we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> And now you have a uh, you have eighty thousand Facebook likes. Yeah, we just passed eighty thousand yesterday, I think. Wow, it's a milestone, eh? Yeah, it's cool. Um, hopefully, we can do a hundred thousand before the year's over. I see. I see numbers. It's a numbers yeah. Facebook numbers game. Do you, uh, how how often do you check your Facebook? Uh, me personally, if I didn't have a band and it was necessary, I wouldn't even have a Facebook. I don't get on there very often, but. Uh, Let's check it a couple times a week. Cool. Yeah. What about a MySpace? Do you guys uh, have a MySpace that you will, do you check? Dead in the water. Okay. Yeah, nobody goes on MySpace. I was there a few months ago. I was lost, and then I just got out. That's good. Everyone should get out of there. <laughs> it's a dead language. That's like uh, Sumerian. No one speaks that anymore. <laughs> and then you uh, on your YouTube channel, you have almost uh, 2 million. I think it's 197 or something like that. It's pretty impressive. That's a lot of hits. It's cool that people uh, want to replay our stuff that much. <laughs> and uh, we're living in a, a, a like and uh, and, uh, and a view society. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we do videos because uh, other than the music, people need a visual representation of the band. And other than live videos, you know, from shows, there's got to be something. And there's some sort of connection now with uh, views and uh, charts and so forth. Is that right? Um, I think I, I think the industry has changed to where YouTube numbers and Facebook numbers matter almost just as much as record sales. Oh wow! And uh, now you guys are on a two-month headlining tour. Is that right? Yeah, we got two weeks left. Nice. You started in uh, Mexico. You're uh, and you you'll be ending home, right? Yeah, we end in Denver playing a uh, snowboard festival with like Pentagram and Cadaver and some other rad bands. Wow, that's pretty amazing. And then, then you have uh, a couple of weeks off, and then it's back on the road with. Uh, we're going out with Soulfly. Whoa! Yes. Soulfly dropping a bomb. Nice. His <laughs> al so his albums, the Max's album should be out soon, eh? Yeah, I hear they're uh, doing a new album, and that'll be the first tour for it. So it should be cool. I thought the last couple of records were pretty awesome. I don't know, are you a Soulfly fan at all? Uh, I like some Soulfly, yeah. I've seen them live a couple times, and it's good. And I know that you just did Europe with Fallujah and Suffocation. Yes, sir, and Sfalic Carnage. Oh, okay, those are um, state buddy of yours. Yeah, it was a really, really fun tour. All Americanos on the bus. A lot of reefer, reefer burning in uh, Europe? Reefer madness. It was... Uh, a very green, a very burning green tour. <laughs> and the, uh, the, the, the gigs in uh, Europe were similar to, uh, like, the, what is this place, the Red House? A lot, a lot of little clubs uh, touring with Suffocation? Um, in Europe, we did some smaller clubs like this, and uh, some other times we were playing theaters, you know, thousand cap rooms. It's different. Every tour, uh, pretty much every tour is like that. Got small rooms, got big rooms, and... Uh, hopefully that they all pack up <laughs> for sure and now are you involved in music outside of the band 
yeah, music is practically all I do. Um, anytime I'm listening to music, I'm actually listening, you know, not, I, I'm not a very passive listener. I'm analyzing and uh, paying attention to what's going on in the movement. Other than that, though, uh, when we're not on the road, I am an audio engineer and I work at venues in town. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. What what clubs can we find you uh, um, actually humping gear at? You can frequently see me at the Bluebird Theater and the Gothic Theater in Denver. Cool. cool. <laughs> what would you say? I mean, you guys have been around for, what, five or six years now? Uh, touring actively, very actively for about six years but we, the band's been around for about 10. Is there what, what would you say are some of the biggest changes that you've noticed uh, in the industry in the last five years? Um, in the last five years I'm happy to say that makeup guy liner wearing bands seem to be on the decline Ooh. and riffs seem to be making a comeback and solos seem to be making a comeback so that's good. <laughs> Have you ever gotten stoned at Mile High Stadium? Um, yes, I have at Warp Tour. And is it, it's higher up, so you you get higher, I would imagine. Yeah, and uh, you actually get drunk faster when you're at high elevation too. So you gotta you gotta pace yourself to make it through the day. <laughs> yeah, especially on a long day like Warp Tour. You probably have learned to pace yourself over the years. Yeah, definitely. I can't drink like I used to. Cool. And so you have the tour coming up, uh, and that's pretty much all, all, all you got going on, right? Just, I mean, that's just part of what you do. Tour, tour, tour. Tour, tour, tour. All the time. And uh, I think after that, this next one coming up, we may head back over to Europe, or we may take the winter off. Uh, things have yet to be divulged. So, and then finally, we'll um, what's that? Oh, so we'll see what happens. But in any case, if we don't tour this winter, we'll definitely be hitting the road again in the spring. Cool. And then finally, uh, is there anything that you might want to say to people that might be watching this? Uh, yes. Thank you to anybody who has ever bought one of our CDs or a shirt or come to a show or told your friends about us. Because without you people, we would not exist. And uh, think for yourself and support music and the world will be a better place.